Hello everyone, my name is Python and welcome back to another episode of my Terraria Warrior playthrough, my friends. Thank you so much for the support you showed in the last episode and indeed for this uh, build so far. You guys seem to really enjoy this so far, which is really, really awesome. Gives me a lot of uh, motivation to do a whole bunch more. But today, my friends, we're going to do a double boss whammy episode. So I can't remember if I've already done it or not, like genuinely, I can't remember. But uh, King Slime is someone I don't think we've taken down yet again i could be completely wrong but uh yeah but yeah the double boss episode comes in the form of the king slime and also potentially the eater of worlds that is the uh, that is the intention i would love to be able to go ahead and uh, take down the eater of worlds upgrade myself up to shadow armor because as you can see we still have ourselves the the mix mash load of silver and ancient cobalt armor which i mean it's, it's still pretty cool let's just be honest here but It'd be nice to have a full set and get ourselves some uh, set bonuses as well. So, yes. Anyway, so we're up top here, my friends. So what we're going to do, we're going to make ourselves a platinum crown because that's what we that's what we need to do, right? Uh, so I need uh, one ruby and then we need all of this platinum here. We need to just head over here. I can't remember how much platinum we need i think it's just five yeah so five platinum one ruby makes yourself a platinum crown and then all we need to do now is head over to uh oh there's a sapphire there shouldn't be there you should be in there with the rest of your buddies we need to grab ourselves a bunch of gel already got a bunch 121 we need to get ourselves over to a demon altar now then uh question is where's the nearest one i can't say i'm entirely certain i mean maybe the corruption by him to the left here i don't know man I don't know. Where's the nearest demon altar? I am currently searching around. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not seeing any on the surface anyway. All right. Well, then, I guess it's to the corruption biome. Hey, here we go, my friends. In a corruption underground horizontal section of awesomeness. Heck yeah, bud. Right, so we need to just get over to a demon altar and then we can do this thing, right? So let's just go here. And there we go, slime crown. That's all we need. And I don't think... I mean, I don't see a reason why we should fail, right? I mean, I, I don't know. Maybe maybe I'm a bit confident, but I don't think we should fail, honestly. So, I'm just going to do it. We're just going to do it. Literally just going to do it. Where is this freaking moron? He's over the left-hand side here. want to make sure he doesn't despawn. Uh, oh, here, here he is. Oh, no, he's killing the guide. Why you do this, man? Why you do this? Okay, okay, not doing bad. It's mostly going to be the projectile, unless I try and use this thing. What do you guys think? Nah, I think it's going to be the enchanted sword, isn't it, guys? Right, so he's uh, trapped over there. Uh -huh. Okay, that's what we need to not have happen, him go ahead and do that. Holy crap. Right, come on, boys. 2,199 health. Uh, make that 2,100, pretty much. Uh, Guidey, he may get killed here. Uh, Guidey, please don't get killed. I would very much rather you didn't. Uh, uh, yeah, he's going to die. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Guidey, don't die on me, please. You're such a good dude, man. You're such a good dude. There you go. And back over here, eh? Back over here. We can get ourselves a bunch of gel from this as well. There we go. Fantastic. And he's dead. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, I feel like I just saw the guide's like, life flash before his eyes. Oh, jeez. Right, so this guy is getting a lot smaller and therefore... Oh, wow, okay. The lacking of Hermes boots is starting to become very apparent now, guys. Uh, yeah. He is able to catch up with me, which is not the greatest thing in the world. Let's try and get back over this side. We seem to be just snaking him at this point. I mean, maybe it is a good idea to try and use this thing. Oh, here we go. Steep in. Okay, come on, boys. Uh, 1,200 health. He's got less than half at this point, which is not bad. <sighs> okay, once again, just trying to snake him. The double jump definitely is uh, definitely is helping, it has to be said. Uh, I'm very, very happy with that. Uh, I'm also happy with uh, my movement speed, though. Oh, Jesus Christ. So, yeah, I don't know, man. Maybe it's a case we need either double jump or the Hermes boots. I don't think we, strictly speaking, need both. Like, not like need, need. Like, if you've got your dodging on point, then it's actually kind of okay. Come on, boys. 18. He's got 800 health left, guys. Oh, my goodness me. He's getting quick. He's getting quick. And there you go. All right, and time to back over the other side. All right, how's he looking? 600 health pretty much. 
Yeah, this fight has gone on a lot longer than I first thought it would, if I'm entirely honest with you guys, but, you know, that's just how it is sometimes, isn't it? Especially when you don't really have a great deal of ranged sort of uh, melee weapons. I mean, the boomerang, it's kind of okay, but that's all it is, really. It's just okay. Right, let's go over this side. Okay, let's try and get ahead of him. Oh, he's getting really quick now. Holy crap. Hey, buddy. 200 health. Come on. 200 health. 100 health. Oh. Ooh. Okay. Hi. Hi. How you doing, man? And dead. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, like I said, that actually took a lot longer than I first thought it would. But, you know, I mean, we still can took him down pretty easily. And we've made a profit. In terms of gel as well, we're up to 128. I mean, it's not a great deal of profit, but it is profit. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, not bad. All right. Did we get the slime hook? Uh, nah, we've got ninja armor. But aside from that, we didn't really get a great deal of stuff. So, yeah. Uh, ooh. You see, that might be good just for the warding, you know? Feral Claws Band of Regen. Yeah, I'm kind of enjoying the fact that that's got warding on it. That's actually really freaking good. Yeah. Okay. Right. I'm gonna I'm gonna put that on simply because it has warding and therefore I've got four more defense from it. We do have a slime gun, which is completely worthless to our cause. Uh, oh dear. And uh, yeah, let's just quick stack away our coins. We have 48 gold coins coming, which is kind of nice. Uh, I need to place this down somewhere or put it away. I'm just gonna put everything away here. Boom. Uh, worm teeth. I know that's used in uh, potion recipes. So yeah, we're gonna have to do something with that at some point. But ladies and gentlemen, yeah, the next boss I would really like to try and take down is the Eater of Worlds. And uh, this time, I'm thinking we're going to need some uh, buff potions for sure, dude. So, we've got Daybloom, and I believe that all... I mean, the only other things we need is uh, Lead Ore for Iron Skin potions. We need Mushrooms. Okay. And then... I don't know what else, really. I mean, I could try and just grab out all of the potion materials I have. Uh, do we have any? Yes, we have some glass bottles. We need to convert some of them into water bottles as well, which is fair enough. Uh, the nurse has arrived. Emma the nurse. Hello, Emma. How are you doing, man? But, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, this is not the most interesting stuff to watch. So what I'm going to go and do is I'm going to skip to when I've got myself prepared. Got some potions here and there. Uh, it would be nice if I could get a demolitionist. I feel like I want to get some bombs because... In fact, no, we need to get some bombs, don't we? Yeah, we need bombs. So what? Do I have to have grenades equipped on me? Is that how it works? I don't actually know. Huh. Okay. We'll have to figure that out. All right, guys. So we're back in the corruption. I am managing to dig up this demonite, of course, because I have a platinum pickaxe, which is kind of nice. So we're slowly but surely increasing our demonite supply without even having to take down a boss. Uh, so, you know, that's kind of awesome. <laughs> How much do we have now? 34? Uh, not bad. So, the bad news is I only have five bombs, guys. I only have five. I don't even know if it's going to be possible for us to get to three of these orbs with only five bombs. It's going to be a hell of a squeeze, isn't it? I don't know, man. So, yeah, the thing is, I'm pretty sure the guide is going to be the one who spawns back in because he's the only one we uh, don't have and he's like the top priority dude, isn't he? So, I don't know, man. I don't know. I just don't know. Right, uh, what do we think? So, I'm thinking maybe we could go for this one down here. Maybe two... Oh, no, I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to do that. Oh, I wasted one. Python, you imbecile. Yeah, all of those Eater of Dudes, Eater of Worlds dudes, they were freaking swarming me and I couldn't do anything about it. Right. Come on, bombs. Bombs away. There we go. Uh, that's not going to be enough, though, is it? No, nah, it's not. Ah, oh, man. Okay, well, we can't take down the Eater of Worlds until we get ourselves some more things. Uh, oh, a meteorite has landed. Sadly, it's not very useful to our cause, though. Hmm. Ah, man. Okay, that's annoyed me a little bit because that, I think that would have granted me access to the second Shadow Warp over here as well. Ugh. All right, well, yeah. I think we need to make some new uh, basic box houses. Let's do that. Okay, we're going to make ourselves some basic box houses. We have 400 wood. There's no reason why we shouldn't. And um, probably there's no reason why we, you know, you know, what am I trying to say? I have no idea. Python, when's your train of thought going? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Boom, boom, boom. Yes, I am still doing the uh, the granite build, but I just want to get some NPCs. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and boom. There we go. All right, so yeah, I'm going to make some new houses real quick. I really want to get that demolitionist in because he's like, a, he's like a necessity at this point. So, yeah. 
I'll be back in a moment. A goblin army is approaching from the east. Really? You decided, like, oh, hey, I've just taken you on in the Calamity Mage playthrough. Maybe it's time for us to take him down on this playthrough as well. Ah, oh, gosh, we could darn it. <laughs> I'm so going to get accused for repeating content over and over, but the, the, it's Terraria, man. It's not my fault. I can't do that. I, I can't just, like, not take him down because they're going to be there anyway, aren't they? Oh, I got freaking damn it, Terraria. Why, why, why you do this, man? Why you do this? Uh, right. Oh, wait. Oh, bloomin' hell. They've already arrived? What the crap? I didn't realize it'd be that quick. Jeez, man. Right. So if my peeps could, like, not die, that would be fantastic. I mean, I mean the good thing is about this, of course, is the fact that, uh, you know... Uh, uh, oh, God. No, no. Oh, the nose is out of the gate. Oh, what the goddamn crap? What? Dude. Dude. Calm. Calm yourself. Calm yourself. There's way too many of you. You freaking butts. Go away. Oh, no. I hate these archery dudes. Such a pain. Ugh. Right. I mean, you've seen... You've seen the goblin army. It's it's like a worthless event. The only thing it's good for, really, is, uh, is you know, getting the goblin tinker to spawn in. So, yeah. Uh, and now the merchant has been killed as well. Oh, good stuff. Good stuff. Come on, peeps. Come on, peeps. Ugh. I mean, oh, a harpoon. Isn't that melee? Oh, it's ranged. Interesting. Okay. Cool. Ah, right. I'm going to try and take these fools down. Ah! There we go, my friends. Goblin army has finally been taken out of the game. Luckily, I didn't actually manage to die, which is kind of okay, I guess. I mean, you know, that's not bad. Not bad. Uh, the merchant has just arrived back in, which I guess is okay. I mean, more than anything, like I say, I'm looking for the demolitionist. So, you know, if you could spawn, that'd be fantastic and stuff. <laughs> well, sadly, that's not exactly useful to my cause, the arms dealer. I'm still looking for the demolitionist, man. I'll be kind of nice, you know what I'm saying? Uh, right, well, the good news is I found the goblin tinkery. He is just over here to the left-hand side, as you can see. So, all is looking good on that front. Hello, good sir. All right, so we are looking for some rocket boots and a tinkerer's workshop. Fantastic. All right, so things are looking good. We still need to find Hermes boots. That's one of the things we still do not have on the series, which is quite a surprise, all things considered. And uh, so, yeah, one of the things that I had in one of my chests was a bomb statue. Maybe we could start generating some bombs. Uh, will I be able to see? Oh, no, okay. So if I pick up this piece of thing here. Oh, okay, so we can see the wiring now. So if we place that there, and if I place the bomb statue next to it, I should be able to activate it. Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, that's pretty cool, man. Uh, how often does it activate, though? I don't know. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Maybe I could just sort of do this for a little bit. Quite a good replacement for a demolitionist. I mean, you can't buy get things as quick. But it's still kind of nice. And uh, I managed to find a piece of dynamite as well in one of the chests, which is really, really nice. So, uh, yeah, all things considered, this is, this is not bad. This is not bad. <laughs> Alrighty, so we've got a band of star power from this shadow orb. We just need to find one more. One that is uh, preferably easy to get to. Uh, I'm thinking maybe the one just to the left over here. Uh, I would very much like to have maximum health going into this fight as well. It has to be said. Uh, buddy, can you like die please? Maybe give me a piece of rare ancient shadow armor. Mm -hmm. That would be nice, would it not? Right, I don't know how big of a hole this is going to give. But I hope it's going to be a decent amount. Uh, go on buddy. Explode! Wow, okay, that's pretty nuts. Right, okay, so what we need to do... Is, uh, uh, I need to do stuff, basically. I need to prep the area. I need to make sure everything's sort of nice and flat and nice and easily walked upon. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm almost tempted to try and make it so this goes over the top, right? So, like this. Like, over the top of the demon altars. I don't know, maybe, maybe that's just me. I think that's a good idea. Just for, again, easy walking, easy dodging, all that kind of stuff. So, uh, yeah. Alright, cool. Well, I'm going to go ahead and uh, prepare this area. And then uh, we'll get on with an Eater of Worlds fight. What do you guys think? I'm looking forward to it. Alrighty, guys. Here we go. We've just gained access to the third orb. And, yeah, we now have no explosives. We actually managed to use every single one. Okay, so. I'm not going to lie. I'm actually kind of nervous. I'm actually kind of nervous because we don't have, like, piercing weapons. Or not very good piercing weapons, anyway. I mean, the boomerang may come in useful if we manage to attack him in the right way. But, uh, aside from that, I mean, all we could do is just do it. Oh, yes. How about yes. Oh. 
That's fantastic! That is fan freaking tastic! Alright, and as long as we don't get hit by the head. I mean, this guy's like doing no damage anymore. The ball I heard. I could not have asked. I completely forgot about the ball I heard, guys. I'm not going to lie to you. But that that could not have gone better. That really could not have gone better. I am super, super happy about that. Uh, yeah. His head still does a decent amount of damage. But do you know what? I'm pretty damn happy with this. I've got to tell you guys. I'm pretty damn happy with this. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I'm kind of doing the whole invincibility frames thing whereby every time he does one load of damage even though his head may hit me i'm still only getting one load of damage as opposed to like 20 from his head but i'm kind of tempted to give this thing a go let's see what we can do yeah now that we've got him down a decent amount i feel like we should be able to just like do this yeah this is more like it isn't it guys ponage stance Oh, here we go. This is this is brilliant. This is a good time. So, yeah, we started off with the ball I hurt because it was doing a very, very nice job. It has to be said. And, uh, yeah, now we're just switching over to the, uh, the the old reliable enchanted sword because it's quite nice, basically. <laughs> All right. Let us wait for the rest of him. Come on, buddy. He's almost dead at this point. Come on. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen. The Eater of Worlds. Not bad. Not bad. Not as easy as the Calamity Mage one, it has to be said, but... I'm still pretty happy. I'm still pretty happy, guys. I'm still pretty damn happy. Right, now if this freaking duke had gone back up, because Worm Teeth are used in a potion, right? Is it... I think they used... I can't remember. I think they used in Thorns potions. I cannot remember. Maybe I'll have to have a look. But they're definitely used in a potion. Uh, oh, wait. We don't have a guide. Okay, fantastic. Well, good job, Python. You freaking killed him. Uh, right, so we've got a Worm Scarf, which is very nice. Warding Clan in a bottle. Shield of Cthulhu. I'm almost tempted to put that on there. We now have 30 defense. Minus 8 because we have the Iron Skin Potion effect on. And we still have a decent amount. Still have a decent amount indeed. Right, so uh, we do have some Demonite already. Quite a hefty amount as well, which is very, very nice. So I'm thinking we should be able to make ourselves full Shadow Armor to finish off the episode, ladies and gentlemen. How about that, eh? How about that? I am just about ready. Heck yeah, buddy. I feel like it's been a while since I've made shadow armor. Oh, okay. And a nightmare pickaxe. That's also very useful. Sweet. There we go. All right. So now we can mine up Hellstone and go from there. So ladies and gentlemen, 30 defense going up to 37. An increase of 7, which is very, very nice. And uh, yeah, guys, on that note, it is time to end this episode here. Thank guys, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, of course, you're excited to see more. A like rating, as always, would be super, super appreciated. Hit that subscribe button if you don't want to miss out on future content. And that is going to wrap it up. Thank you very much for watching, folks. Really appreciate your continued support as per the norm. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.